right here and their yeah. questionable procedures and how they run their spice mining. Yeah. Is that a worm? Big one. Okay. You have good eyes. Calling crawler Delta Ajax Niner. Worm what? sign warning. So, Acknowledge. So oh. calls Delta. They have patrols looking for worms. And this happenstance fly, flying machine, which is ho holding the Duke, which is not even really supposed to be there as part of the mining operation. Yeah, he's like an unregistered flight. Yeah. It sees the worm before the patrols. How incompetent the are these patrols? Are, that's right. The patrols are incompetent. They were unable to see. They were unable to see the worm sign before the Duke, who has never seen worm sign before. He's like, is that that? Is that uh, thing we yeah. need to worry about? Yeah. Maybe we should call everyone. Yeah. Well, where's, did the patrol sit? No. No, no, difficult to see. In fact, we're going to tell the patrols to go look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What? Ajax, Over. Worm sign north and east of you. 3.7 kilometers. Delta Ajax, neither. This is one of one. Worm sign confirmed. This guy didn't do his job. Right. Worm is on intercept course. To Why is he going over to fly over it? <laughs> like, is that worm sign? Let me go right over it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's worm sign. Like you he can already tell it's worm sign. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't need to be directly overhead to be able to track it. Maybe his camera can only see straight down. <laughs> also, does it, does one worm sign mean no other worms are in the area? So who's now looking, scanning for additional worms? That's right. What if there's a second worm? We, we yeah. Since we're like hyper focused on the single worm sign, we're gonna get blindsided by a second worm. Sneak attack. <laughs> To your position. Contact in five minutes. So what happens now? They'll call a carry-all to lift the crawler. They'll harvest right up to the last minute. Calling carry-all Alpha Zero. Ready for docking sequence. Up to the last minute is zero margin for error. Things got to work perfectly. Right. And I get you want a maximum revenue, but losing the crawler is a much bigger negative Such a big than hit. the positive of a little bit more spice. Yeah, not worth it. Where's management oh. being like, hey... I know we want to keep mining, but let's make some good judgment calls out in the field and not lose the crawlers. <laughs> Contact five minutes. Over. Approaching from your east. Correcting altitude and preparing docking equipment. Copy Alpha Zero. Initiating docking sequence. Prepare to be airborne in 30 seconds. Docking sequence initiated. Brace yourselves. You better be perfect. No, oh, no. It's not. Why, why, why do we have? Why does every support cable have to work? You got no room for error. That's right. They miss a single support, and then now they're three. This thing's gonna be tippy, and it's. I mean, I guess in principle you only need three points to form yeah. a plane, but given the weight distributions like this, yeah. there needs to be an enormous tolerance for these things to be able to pull whatever this thing would have needed to. In fact, it is not going to, they have to abandon. Right. So I guess if you can lift with four, you maybe want eight. Yeah, sure. So that if one fails, you eliminate the symmetric other one and you lift with six now. So you're still centered. One fails, you're oh. fine. Like you, you want some redundancy. So if one fails, you can still lift and you can still center your, your pull force. I mean, you don't need the redundancy if there wasn't an urgent need to get this thing off the ground. But there is. There is a worm coming. Yeah. Like You have to have this thing work perfectly every time. And even if there isn't like a super time crunch, it would just be nice to not have to like, oh, it's failed. I guess I got to go back to repair. Like, no, I can finish the That's work day. That's right. And then I can go send it to repair and replace it out the next day. Yep. Um, but it's even, yeah, cause this is such a time crunch. We're talking, you know, minutes tops, like minutes. this needs to work. Why, why do we have no fail safe or backups? There isn't even another carrier that's nearby. That's right. There's no, there's only one. There's only one. No backup. No backup. They don't have one on nearby standby. I don't know how far away the crawlers are from one another when they're mining, but they assign one to each. Okay. I mean, would it be, would it make sense to even have two next to each other? Or do you need to always have like a, because if there's two next to each other, then if 
one if there's a worm coming then it could attack either one of them so you, you still have no redundancy so mm -hmm. i think if you have two crawlers next to each other you need to have three carry alls there's always one extra that's ready to like hop in i think so yeah so if it's one one carry all in isolation sorry one crawler in isolation you need two carry alls if there's two near two crawlers nearby you need three carry alls n plus one I always, always plus need one. one extra yeah so here they would just immediately swap out yeah Got backup. I'm ready to rock. This is what I'm. This is what I'm trained for. Mm -hmm. An update. Over. The are dead. We won't make it. You have to evacuate. Contacted. How many men on that crawler? Crew of twenty-one. Our ships can take six each. It's still three short. We'll find a way. Now, now we're improvising search and rescue with the yeah. leader of the planet. Gosh, yeah, yeah, that's that's Duke, that's the Duke's problem. Like he really sh shouldn't be doing that. Heroism is super cool, cool and all, but what happens to all of your people if you die? Right, and none of them are trained for search and rescue. It's not like that you can just like I'll just get them on the ship. Like dangerous situation, worms everywhere, sand, weather. Yep. You don't know who's injured. Yep. Yeah. What if they need to do like CPR and they're like, I don't know. Yeah. I guess they're this guy's not, worm food. Whatever. They're not trained for this. I can't Delta see. Delta I'm picking up With sand now. Well, check out those comms, though. The double comms. People Super can hear cool. him. So, so they put they put redundancy in the comms. <laughs> in the comms. <laughs> into the mouthpieces. <laughs> Damn. I guess because they would want to hear stereo his voice. I have no idea. I have no idea whether you do that. Well, what if one breaks? Ah, oh, you're redundancy. Oh, 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 that's it. Have our escorts throw out the shield generators. Yes, sir. And Paul, I want you at the back of the thopter. Guide them in. Gosh, I can't see. I'm disoriented. The sand is everywhere. Why don't they have goggles on? Why are they just blinding? Oh, I don't have squinting. Not, can't see anything. They're not ready with the right equipment. Yep. PPE. Super important. Yep. Yep, this guy's like, I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm out. Never mind. Contact in two minutes. Getting close, guys. We better abandon ship now. Protocol for a reason. We take one step out there as good as dead. Besides, we gotta fall out of spice. We can't just leave. Damn the spice! I want everything Damn the spice. That being said, I do appreciate the employees' like willingness to sacrifice for like the mission. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they are they are working too hard. Yeah, I mean, they probably get a a cut. So they want. Or maybe to, they're expecting punishment if they don't do it right. Well, that's true. That could be could be a fear based. A Harkonnens were real not nice. Right. Now. Oh my gosh, it's chaos! Why does he just whisper? He just whisper so, for just. <laughs> I, I can imagine. I'm on the crawler. I get off the crawler. Some kid is saying stuff i can't hear because there's helicopters and sound everywhere and wind. that's right that's and right he's like, he's like gesturing i'm like i w w w what does this mean who are you yeah that's right uh, who is the official rescue team what am I that's right what? like you don't you're not an employee who are you what, yeah. <laughs> we, we they, you, they're probably trained up on like hand signals you know like this yeah. I mean and he's just wildly pointing any hands when he goes i would be like what what? Okay. I mean, I mean, if I see the helicopter, I guess I'm running to that. Although that's helicopter. not what these these people just hung out near the base. Like, mm -hmm. what would they think is going to happen? So, so if if they can see the helicopter from the base of the ladder, then Paul is is doing nothing. He does. He doesn't he, need they're to just be out here. That his pointing is irrelevant. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh my! God. Especially irrelevant. He's in the sandstorm. Right. <laughs> Really struggling. Shouldn't have gotten out. Really struggling. Oh boy. I mean, uh, they were not ready for this. Somehow they made it. 
May his passage cleanse the world. Look at that cool, financial cool. asset. Just yep, gone. gone forever. So not only do you lose the mining time plus whatever spices on it, like the actual the actual device, the actual like miner is gone too. That's right. So that's not not just that reduces your capacity to mine spice for many many it could be months years because mm-hmm. finding a replacement I don't know how quickly they're manufactured. Oof. I mean they're so, shipped in off world I guess right. Yeah, and that costs money and there's downtime. I mean I don't. There needs to be a serious debrief after this incident to be like, well, there was mess ups on multiple levels. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> where we need to get our procedures down. We I need mean, to get our training down. This is, we can't have this. Honestly, Duke Leto, Leto like, might be the yeah. right person for it. Cause like during mm-hmm. the, during the envoy, he was like thinking about the spreadsheets, thinking about the, like the numbers. And so Duke Leto might be the right person to say like, mm, we need to think about our procedures such that we don't have mistakes like this anymore. And yeah, so like, it might be yeah. operating. This is a, is a business and, and not cutting corners is actually the right way to make the most money. That's right. And it's a sprawling business. We're talking logistics yep. and equipment and I mean, yep. you know, huge amounts of staff. Yep, yep. So getting this dialed in so you're not making mistakes like this, he, he, yeah, he might be the right person. He might be the right person, actually. Right? Okay. The thing I thought about this scene was this, this worm, gigantic, mm-hmm. right? And it ate yeah. this metal thing. Yeah. So one, like, how is it extracting energy? I mean, what, how does this worm live? Like, what other than humans? I mean, mm-hmm. it's humans, sure, if they're around, but they're right. tiny compared to this thing. There's no way can they extract enough energy to survive. So we haven't seen anything on the world that's organic that this worm mm-hmm. eats. Like, like, what what is this worm's natural prey? So I'm thinking in on Earth there mm-hmm. are several types of energy sources in life and i'm thinking these ones down at the bottom of the ocean Mm. where they have a total they have like a geological energy cycle that's completely separate from the sun yeah the thermal vents yeah the thermal vents so they get their that ecosystem gets its energy from the thermal vents and it's we get our energy from the sun ultimately so we're solar based they're chemical based down on the geology so this worm somehow is has an energy cycle based on metal I mean, and but with without humans being here for metal, how did this thing evolve eating metal? Maybe it eats, there's like lots and lots of ore in okay. the planet's okay. crust and it eats the ore. And since this is refined, it's like, it's like gotcha. we would eat fruit, but we could also just eat sugar. I, I, th- I think we're too zoomed in. I don't think the worm cares that it's metal because there are other times where, where the Fremen will put a thumper and then the yeah. worm will come by and eat whatever's there, right? So, but but I like I like where you're going. So maybe this worm lives underground most of the time, mm-hmm. and it gets most of its energy from whatever's on the mm-hmm. inside of the planet. And but hey, if there's an easy snack, like I'll go get it. Sure. If it happens okay. to be metal, happens to be people, like whatever. Right. And so actually, now that because it, it tracks sound, the yeah. worm tracks sound, so it's eating things that make sound, which would be inconsistent with eating like rocks. Because rocks are don't move. That's right. So it can eat all kinds of stuff that moves, like metal and organic. And but then, if it's eating things that moves, like isn't most of the planet kind of just empty sand? There's like little bits of people, but otherwise, mostly the planet's just nothing, right? Right. And like these, what, what does this thing eat? What could it possibly eat? Because it can't. It's got to eat a lot because it's huge. It's huge, and it can't be eating the machines because. It would have the worm would have evolved without the machines right. there. Right. The machines are if if it can digest the machines, it's just an opportunity thing. Opportunity thing. Agreed. So there must be some. Pr- Maybe there's under the sand. There's a whole predator prey situation going on. And then it just wasn't relevant for humans because we're just not a part of that cycle. Yeah. Sure. And and the okay. the prey of the worms, the natural prey of the worms under the ground, don't never actually surface. And so humans who are bound to the service, um, we just don't know them. Sure, sure. Okay, okay. okay. I, can, I can be okay with that. Still don't know why he can eat metal, but yeah. maybe maybe it doesn't digest it. Maybe it, it shits out the metal, but it's just like anything here. I'm eat it. Figure it out later. Whatever. I see. Like alligators will do that, right? Yeah. I like eat anything. And so this worm is like a tube, and it just like oh, this is not going to work. Whatever. Through the worm. Out. 